have some stellar canines who recently graduated from the Arizona Humane Society's dog training classes. Take a look at these pups who are now the most well-mannered canines on the block. <laughs> All right. Well, you can get your dog uh, some dog training classes. Of course, go to our website, azhumane.org. But you know that more pets go missing over the 4th of July than any other holiday of the year. So before you throw another hot dog on the, or burger on the grill this 4th of July, take a minute to make sure that your pet has up-to-date ID tags. Keep in mind it's best to keep pets indoors as pets that are left outside could become overheated or try to escape. Um, the yard due to the loud fireworks. And if your pet's having anxiety, put them inside, turn on the TV or the radio, give them their favorite toy, um, help drown out the sounds and distract them from all of the fireworks. All right, well, the, you can meet these uh, sweet 16 dogs. There are current longtime residents of the Arizona Humane Society. Each of these pups has a special place in our heart, and we'd love nothing more than to see them find a family of their own. You can adopt any of these cute faces here that you see on the screen for just $16. And one of those special dogs is joining us now. His name is Harvey, hanging out with Linda. Linda, tell us about this sweet pup. Well, Harvey here is a mix of a shepherd and they say chow. He's about 55, 60 pounds of just pure love. Can you imagine coming home every day to a perpetual grin on your face just like this? He loves to play. He's friendly with every dog, every person that walks by. He's so interested in everything that's going on around him. He just, he's even ignoring his treats right now. That's how friendly he is. He wants to be behind the scenes, in front of the camera, on a leash, at the dog park, the neighbors forever. He wants to see everybody. This is Harvey. Harvey. <laughs> He's been spending a lot of time in staff offices. He's such a well-mannered boy. Very smart, mellow, easygoing. I love the little head tilts and his gray muzzle. Thanks, Linda. Well, Mia is an absolute joy to have, says her new adopters. They say that she's learned how to use the doggy door. After about four days, she picked that up really quickly. She's completely house trained. She does tricks and likes to go camping. She also um, loves to give everyone kisses and is super affectionate. She enjoys going to the groomer, and her family says that she's just the best pup ever. Happy Adoption Day, Mia. Elvis and Eva are up next, and these are two of over 150 cats and kittens at our shelter right now. And Lisa, tell us about these two cuties. Well, I have Eva, the girl, and this is Elvis, the little boy, but they came out of our kitten ICU. We have literally hundreds, hundreds of kittens either in our ICU, our bottle baby ICU, or in our kitten nursery. So we are running low on kitten food. So you can see here various types of kitten food, anything, the soft type. We would love donations. All of our kitties would give you purrs because we are running low with those hundreds of kittens. But these two have graduated and are ready for adoption. Well, we wrap up the show today with Lewis, a strapping little dog who loves those frozen Kong toys. He's also spent a lot of time in my office and he is Loves his toys, but he's easygoing and loves attention, too. Perry, tell us more about him. You spent quite a bit of time with Lewis. He likes his toys, but he likes his peanut butter better, which is what this Kong is stuffed with right here. So it's a great idea for you to use. Is is a, is a Kong stuffed with peanut butter. They love it. This guy is wonderful. He is a 10-year-old uh, senior. You know what? And that is where it ends because that is only a number in this case. This guy is super active. He's like a 2-year-old. He likes to play with his toys. He's got his doggy gazette right down here. He loves to hang out on the sofa. He's a wonderful dog. He is nowhere near the age of 10 in mind. So come on down and check out this guy because he's going to be a great family companion. This is Lewis. For more information about the pets on today's show, call the number there on your screen or visit azhumane.org. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a safe and happy 4th of July, and we'll see you next week with more adoptable pets.